Hi, welcome back to Minecraft. So last episode I made this farm and in this episode I want to do some progression stuff and upgrade my house. And the first thing I want to do is build a skeleton farm from a spawner that I found. And now with the skeleton farm complete, the main reason I wanted to build it was for an XP farm for enchanting. But for that I also need an enchanting table and some bookshelves. So I'm here just looking for some sugarcane and I can see some over there. So with this small amount of sugarcane I want to go back and plant it down a little bit closer and just in a temporary location. Anyway, while that's growing, I want to dig out a bigger area for my house, so let's get into a time lapse. After digging all that out, the sugarcane has grown enough now that I can get everything I need to enchant. So I'm making a whole lot of books and then crafting those books into bookshelves. And I also need an enchanting table, so let's craft one of those. Now, over at the skeleton farm, I already have an area prepared for enchanting, so all I need to do is place down these bookshelves and the enchanting table. And finally, I can get some enchanted armor and tools. So, I crafted a diamond pickaxe, and it's now enchanted with efficiency and arm breaking. So I'm now going to go through all my armor and enchant all of that with the best enchant I can get on it.
Look at that. A full set of enchanted iron armor. Plus a diamond pickaxe, of course. So with my new shiny pick, I want to do some mining. However, I did just think it's probably a good idea to get fortune threes. And I'm just going to put that on an iron pick because my diamond supply is very low. That is probably the best luck I have ever had while mining. Well, of course the fortune helped with that, but it also helped that iron and gold can now be fortuned. But still, from that 30 minutes, I got almost a stack of diamonds. Well, anyway, now that the mining is done, back to some building. So the room I previously dug out is just going to be a small room with other rooms coming off of it. So for this room I want to use some deep slate blocks as there are lots of variations and there'll be plenty of options. So first I want to make a path that connects the staircases to the storage room. And I also want to have two other rooms that branch off this one so I'll add paths to them as well. Now that leaves this area in the middle which I'm going to dig down a bit and have a sort of pit. So currently this looks a little boring, but I do have a few ideas of things to add to this later. Anyway, now I need to repeat this on the other side. And that's the floor of this done. So now onto the walls. I want to add a bit of depth to them, so I'm building up a pillar, and then I'll add some deep slate behind that. So that looks good, but I don't want to repeat it across the whole wall, so I'll add a few different designs to the wall next to it. And then in between, I'm going to add some spruce logs to break it up a bit. Then again, I need to repeat that on the other wall as well. Now for the ceiling. So I've covered up some of it with spruce wood. And I'm going to add a bit more height with these deep slate stairs. And then that's the roof done. Now for the section of wall here. I want to have a pillar here as well, but I want to try inverting the blocks. So a deep slate pillar and cobble for the back. I've now finished the other room, so I now want to decorate the storage room a little more. And this is just going to be very simple. So I'll continue the deep slate path through and just add some spruce wood planks to the walls to hide some of the stone. And now for the staircase. So I'll just add a few simple designs to these walls here using spruce wood cobble. And for the roof that will just be spruce wood. I decided to add a bit more to the starter house so it now looks a bit more like an actual entrance. I have however left all the things like the chicken farm and the nether portal there. So after those stairs which are the same on both sides and lead down to the next floor which has room for expansion in two directions. And then finally the storage room, which currently only has chests on one side. But anyway, that is all for this episode. In the next one, I want to continue some of the work outside from the last episode. But anyway, that is all, and I'll see you next time.